So I've been working with Bike World for three or four years now. I love the job, I love doing what we do. The collaboration really seems to work between Superbike and Bike World. Uh, Travelling around riding bikes is pretty much my dream job. Now, unfortunately for me, I can't quite do everything. And the one thing in terms of feedback that we get from our viewers that I can't do is provide that female touch. So um, I could come and wear a dress at this all girls track day here at Brands Hatch today. I could try and blag my way on track, but I'm not going to get very far because quite clearly I'm not a lady. So we've had a bit of a tip about a girl that's here riding today who we think might be perfect for the show. You may remember Susie. Let's cut to a quick montage of Susie and how good she was. They've got a great learning environment here. If, now, if you're at home... And we're looking for somebody like that who's ready to step in and, uh, and take over where Susie has left off. Let's go and take a look. Java in the background. She's the lady that we've come to meet today. We've just been having a little bit of a listen to the debrief and it sounds like she knows what she's doing. And them scuffs down the side of her leathers, uh, I don't think she got them putting the bike in and out of the garage. I'm here Wigan. I think she might be faster than me. So this is Java? Yep. This is Java. Java lives in Romford but she's from Lithuania uh, and I'm already going to say now that she's probably four or five seconds a lap quicker than me around Brands Indy. So Yava, yeah, you're here today doing uh, CSS, California Superbike School. Yep. Level one? Yep, it is. Which is like the basic. Yeah, so you go back right to the very beginning where yep. they teach you um, something as simple as throttle control, bike stability and braking. So to me, that's quite a big step back, if you know what I mean, obviously, because um, uh, at this point, I should be concentrating on getting the fast line yep. and finding the you know breaking points instead of actually thinking about frontal control. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, it's good to be back to basics, but at the same time, it's going to teach me, I think, quite a lot. And and when you say it's teaching you something for for what are you a track day regular or no? I am like a, a racer. Yeah, I do race against professional riders. It's only my third season racing, but I have jumped. Uh, made very big jumps from being a rookie and now racing against pros but I do race in Italy in super sport class and the boys there are very very fast <laughs> okay so no racing in the UK everything all your racing has been in Italy no 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 I started off in UK in Bemsey yep. as a rookie in the minute wins class yep. so that was my first season racing and from the very first weekend I jumped straight in the podium which was a very big confidence <laughs> boost and yep. that's when I realized I actually have what it takes yeah. I jumped from being a rookie straight to British Superbikes where I competed in Ducati Tra options so that was a very big jump and it was a big challenge and not many riders do that yeah. but um being with the fast riders meant, meant that I can learn from them even quicker than yeah, yeah. what I did in Bemsey. So it was a very good year, you know, racing British Super Bikes and I enjoyed it a so lot. So what's your um, what's your PB at Brands Indy then? Oh God, uh, well, it was my second round uh, in Ducati Tri Options. Lap time, I think it was 50 point nine, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's faster but than me. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, that's awesome, nicely yeah. done. So this whole CSS thing today for you, like you said, is back to basics with a view to helping you uh, find some more speed for the Italian Super Sports series. Yes, I actually had a poor round in my last race in Italy. Everything just wasn't going my way. And when you have those sort of weekends, it sort of bursts your bubble a little yeah, bit yeah. and you tend to get your confidence you know, at low levels. So being here at a relaxing track day, yeah. learning, going back to basics, I think it will give me a nice little confidence boost because I think that's what I really need right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know how long it's going to be until you're out again, but I'm going to go up to Druids and mark you out the tent yeah. for um, style and speed. <laughs> okay. See how you get on. So 
we're just taking a walk up to Druids. On the inside of the corner, we've just come to see if Yava's got the skills to pay the bills. I get the feeling she probably has. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's all right. It. We've come to the end of the day with Yava and the California Superbike School. Uh, clearly, speed isn't an issue for you, but no. uh, did, did going back to basics help with anything for you, do you think? Yeah, 100%. Um, there's a lot of things that the instructor speaks out on, which are actually very simple, um, like throttle control, mm -hmm. positioning. I wasn't there something with your yeah, chicken um, wings? Yeah, your exactly. I'm quite large, so when I'm on a bike, you can really see it. And um, I never thought about, you know, having the arms relax as much yeah. and it's so crucial to have the you know to be able to hold the line and then when the instructor pointed it out i started to think about it more and obviously we're not doing racing speeds today yeah, yeah. so i have enough time to just keep telling Thinking myself relax relax and it has helped me so much so despite you not being at racing speeds we know that you've um, been black flagged for overtaking once and some yeah. of the other riders I've moaned about you overtaking them and riding too fast. Yeah, apparently I scared quite a few um, other ladies, which I'm sorry about, but... Um, it is what yeah. it is. Yeah, <laughs> if you, exactly. If you're going to go fast, then go fast. Yeah, I'll, I'll calm down for the last session, <laughs> I promise. Uh, so what's next for you? What are you going to do after this? When are you racing next? Uh, so next week is six weeks time. Um, I'll be training as much as I can. I'll be riding my max bike, you know, just to get bike fit. Um, that will really help me in terms of reactions and fitness. So in between all of that racing, you're going to be um, putting your learner plates on, going back to school and passing your road bike test? Yes, indeed I am. Funnily enough, even racers, you can ride a bike, have to take a road test. So um, I'll be going back to Art Rider Training, who uh, have provided the training for me to pass my test on road. And I think my test is at the start of September, so I'll be sitting in front of the police and, you know, trying to pass my test. So I'm slightly worried, but yeah. hopefully it'll be fine. Well, I'm hoping that she passes her test so that, so that you can go and do all of the Lamo 125 road tests in the winter. Oh yeah, 100%. Right, look forward to it. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Take care.